when the document was published, obviously one of the issues was this 45 minutes question. Were you aware that a rather misleading impression had somehow got out there, that this was related, not just to munitions for battlefield use, but to longer range missiles? First of all, when I saw the draft, the only thing in the draft that surprise is perhaps too strong a word, but the only thing in the draft that I had not seen before in terms of my familiarity with the intelligence was this 45 minute claim. I think, if I can put it this way, my experience of dealing with intelligence over many years was that, if you saw something new and different, I would ask about it and I asked about what that meant and I think. I had not been able to find it in any record, but, almost certainly because of the way it happened. I asked my private office and they got someone from the department, I think from Dyes, but I can't be sure about that, to come and explain what that meant, and I had a kind of impromptu meeting in my office to really go through what was meant by a 45 minute claim. The explanation was fairly straightforward. That Saddam had guns that could fire shells containing chemical weapons. He had done that against Iran and could do so again, and that 45 minutes was actually quite a long time for him to be able to order that the shells could be loaded into guns and fired. So that part of it was explained to me and, frankly, it seemed fairly straightforward. I didn't think much more of it. I know that thereafter there was an issue about some newspaper reports. As it turned out, I had not seen those newspaper reports. I didn't actually understand why until shortly before Lord Hutton reported, when Panorama did a program about the report and they put on screen the two newspapers that carried, I think, images of missiles and I realized at that stage that I had never seen these newspapers, and, again, I couldn't quite understand why, but we checked my diary the next morning, and I had been in Kiev for a couple of days and, so, I simply hadn't seen these papers. So you didn't get involved in the issue at the time? No. The final question on the dossier is this phrase, beyond doubt, which was in the Prime Minister's foreword. Did you see the foreword? Did you comment on it before? I certainly saw the draft. I didn't comment on it because... I mean, it did reflect my view of the intelligence and the information that I had been given. I first saw intelligence in relation to Iraq when I went to the Foreign Office in May of 1999. I have actually asked to see some of this intelligence and it bears out that the assessments were to the effect that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, and those assessments continued throughout my time in the Ministry of Defense. I think I actually asked to see some of that material, just to refresh my memory.